Carino and Matt Gearhart are getting ready to head off to the state tournament. First of all, take me through districts, guys, how you played, how you managed to, to move on to state. Uh, honestly, districts was a little shaky for me. I started off with bogey bogey, and then I got it going on the front. And then I shot two over on the front, and then I, well, I found a birdie on hole nine. Or no, I shot one over on the front, so that helped. And then got some adrenaline going into 10 in the back nine. Finished on hole 16. I actually three-putted my last hole and bogeyed it, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. I think we got a lot of it cleaned up this week of practice, so hopefully it's a good good uh, week at state. Uh, I also started off a little shaky. I started on 15. I uh, got to the front nine, though. I had two birdies, eight and nine. It really helped me out. I shot two over in the front, but going into my last uh, four holes in the back, I couldn't really get anything going, but uh, my last two holes, I went bogey double, 14. I uh, launched one over. Just some stupid stuff. I got cleaned up in practice, so uh, it was all right, but I think I'm going to play pretty well. You guys have kind of had opposite years Kyle years kind of started off pretty slow Matt you've been pretty consistent start to finish so what Kyle what have you found lately that's kind of just held the getting warmer and being on the course more often and playing more rounds or what's been the difference uh, for me it's confidence it's all in my head I know I can play this really solid round every time I just need to have that in my head get over the ball I think I'm gonna hit good every time and uh, just stay focused and slow down my swing Man, I imagine your level of play is kind of what you expect. I mean, has it been what you expected out of yourself, or do you feel like there's more out there? Uh, you know, I feel like 72 is my lowest round this year. I feel like I can, I can get one down there in the 60s. I feel like I really can. But, you know, we'll see if it happens. If not, then hopefully next year I can get out there and put some low scores. But I'm happy with the way I played this year. Just a couple of the beginning tournaments, the first two, I think I went 77, 76, which weren't bad. But I can get that score, you know, two strokes down more than that if I can just fix my putting a little bit. This is a different course in the last – Two years where you guys, have you guys been, you guys imagine you've been there at some point? Yeah, we played a practice round. What, we, played, we only played the back nine, though. We didn't play the front nine. What, what sort of challenge is it, does it offer? Uh, the front is really straightforward. Uh, I don't think there's a hole that is not just perfectly straight on the front nine, but the back nine, there's some holes where you hit six iron off the tee to, you know, 100 yards out, and then you come basically right back to where you teed off. It's just because the there's a lot of dog legs and mm -hmm. big trees in front of the way, so you can't always go for the green on them, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. What have you guys spent kind of cleaning up this week as you get ready? Uh, definitely putting. I mean, me and Matt aren't the best putters, but we're trying to improve on that and just uh, go to the range with Kendra. She's almost like our golf, golf coach. She really helps us out a lot. She helped out me and Matt with our swings and just getting everything pure for, the, for tomorrow and Friday. How much... When you guys end the two-year run and go in a state as a, as a group, how much are you guys kind of playing for your teammates when you go out there? Uh, I mean, obviously a lot. I mean, we really, really like to have our team going, but for me and Matt to tear it up and get a couple of low scores and maybe bring home some medals, uh, really make our team happy and proud. How, how did it take a, a few days to sort of get over that maybe sort of, I don't know if you had a sense of guilt or anything? Yeah, almost. You know, I feel like I could have just gone a little bit lower for the team. Got everybody, you know, everybody got down a little bit lower, but uh, we got to get over it and hopefully tear it up this year. So what do you, what do you, what do you look for? What, what's, what the reach? What can you accomplish over the next two days? Uh, I just want to kind of stay in the lower 70s. You know, uh, we were talking, you know, 70 times, par 72, so we got to take that times two, 144. So if we can both stay in the 140s, you know, that'd be that'd be really solid, I think. No, no thoughts about a, a placing or a medal or just kind of. We'll go in more for a score and try to see what happens after that. Uh, I mean, you kind of just got to play your own game, and whatever whatever that gives you, that gets what it gives you, you know. Uh, you can say, you know, I want to go out and win it, but you got you can't get ahead of yourself too much or else you'll, you know, you'll kind of get a little too, I don't know, I can't get far, too hard, too far ahead of myself, or else then I play bad. So I just got to stay in the moment, just whatever happens, happens. How about your approach, Kyle? Um, you know, I... It'd obviously be great to medal, but I'm just going in. I'm really calm and focused. I don't want to get too excited about anything. I just want to go out and play my golf, and uh, just hopefully, hopefully it happens. I shoot a couple low rounds, me and Matt. Good luck, guys. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you.